do you guys um and and Allie and Tori, do you guys uh hear like the women in your circle say, I don't need a man, but I want a man? Oh, I mean, some sometimes it's empathic, right? So I have a girlfriend, she very much I think would be interested in having a boyfriend, and I've offered to help her before, but she's around a lot of empowered women or like mm -hmm. a lot of blue pilled feminist women, because not every woman even knows that they're a feminist, but I've confronted her with sort of the tools and the information that she would need to lose like probably 150 pounds. And that doesn't sound good. So instead, like she just kind of diverts on that. But honestly, the reason why women say they don't need a man is so that they can look cool to their to their girlfriends. Like you want to look impressive. You want to look like you can work in the world because women judge other women the most. Like, I don't even think it's the patriarchy holding us down. I'm pretty sure it's the matriarchy, like all of the, the disdain that is, I get looked down upon for staying home and depending on my husband all the time. All the people call me lazy. People call me a gold digger. And you know, women shouldn't put each other down in that way. Like you're probably just mad that you have to work. Like I would hate me too, if I was in that situation. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's to look, it's to look, like you're valuable to your girlfriends. The thing about it is that girlfriends aren't real though. Like we're all getting, we're all waiting to get picked up by some guy. So if your girlfriends figure out the game before you do, you're going to be by yourself hanging out at the bar at 35. Like that is a foolish plan, but that's where it's coming from. <laughs> you're at the club at 2 a.m. <laughs> by <laughs> two yourself. In the, two in the fucking morning. <laughs> On a Wednesday. Yeah. Tori, do you need a man? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Man. <laughs> Desperately. Um, but I think, <laughs> I think a lot of women have been fucking the wrong dudes. Are we allowed to swear on here? Go like ahead. They're having, well. <laughs> they're having sex I'm with like the 20. <laughs> and they say, say, having, making, say making love for the algorithm. Yes. They're love making them. love um, with the wrong dudes. And so they have this. It's like a, I want to say delusion, but they just think all guys are like this. They think all guys are having sex. That's like the biggest problem is that if you ask any girl, they think that all these guys are having so much sex. So why are the ones that they're messing with treating them this way? And why is it a collective? I don't think women are really smart enough to realize that what they're actually saying implies that you're going to be single forever. Like if you say, I don't need, it's like, that's great that you don't need a man, but you do at some point, unless you want to be, what is it? The she economy um, mm -hmm. statistic. It's like you 25 to 45. Now. Yeah. I couldn't get it on here, but it was, they are going to end up single and childless. And we know that one of the biggest things that precipitates a woman's happiness, if that makes sense, is children. Whether they know it or not, I think most convince themselves they don't even want kids, mm -hmm. but then they have kids, they're happy. But um, I was going to say with uh, Savo, his point that he said, how women are telling you all this stuff, they're opening up to you and whatever, you do realize that that means that they view you as an alpha male. Did you know that when a woman opens up like that, that's how she knows that you're high value? Well, I'm gonna I need Rolo to. Not. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna need Rolo to confirm that. But I, I appreciate the no, sentiment. I, I'm saying like <laughs> Rolo. Right Rolo, what do you think? Hold yeah. on, hold on. Yeah. Now that I'm here with the gang, so a way that. <laughs> right. not, a I love way how you're you below me. I'm like, what's that yeah, story? Yeah, throw it out there, man. And by the way, Where anybody in the chat, if you have questions, I'm more than happy to 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 throw them up here too. So. When a woman finds you safe in the term, not like when we talk about betas, but I mean safe, uh, dominant, you could protect her from anything. You don't judge her, that sort of thing. I know the word judge, it's whatever. That's when they start to, uh, I always call it word vomit, but they tell you too much. Oh, and God. I just learned that that's because mm -hmm. you held your frame and they're trying to step into it. True oh my not. god! That's why they keep telling True. me about their sexual yeah. history, and making me want, making me want to fucking and you kill myself. <laughs> you said it out, though. Thing, right? no. Mm -hmm. no, but but I will tell you this. Uh, funny enough, to that point, I have very loving relationships with the women in my life, and it's a kind of a funny thing to to say that I have a few women in my life, but they're all pretty close relationships. It's like almost like polygamy. It's strange, but 
when I talk to the women in my life and I, I ask their opinions on certain things or we're intimate and we're close and we're talking, a lot of times I just listen. That's kind of the funny thing. Like we come here, we do the red pill talks, but in my personal life, I just listen to a lot of their feelings, <laughs> thoughts, concerns. And I, I got to be honest with you, not a hell of a lot of what women have opened up to me about in terms of their desires, about their feelings, about a dynamic between them and me or them and men in general. Not a hell of a lot of it contradicts these these talking points. I, I like I said, I very rarely come across women who have told me anything other than they want a man to be able to properly lead them. They just haven't found the men that have done it. And that mm -hmm. all the issues with a man trying to establish some form of dominance have failed because they didn't think he was the man that could lead. So when I hear mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. what confuses me about the girls that actually think that they that they want to run the show because I haven't come across many of them and I haven't come no. across a lot of women that have really tried to run my shit either. Well, yeah. it's it's that the guys end up they have a scarcity mindset, so they end up giving into whatever the girl's saying. So it can be as simple as. Uh, he's like, okay, we're going to go to this party at this time. And she goes, no, I don't want to go. My anxiety is too bad. It's not, um, okay, we can do something else or it is that. And so if a guy was to be like, no, you either come or you don't, that's it. Girls <sighs> hardly hear that. And if they do, they're like, fuck this dude. And then he goes oh. without her, right? You can leave, right? And then a day later, you withhold attention and there she goes. She's all... She results into a feminine frame. It's just guys don't have the balls to do it right now. They really don't. Do you think that, you think that most women would fall into that if the guy was yes. like like super dominant from the beginning, like command presence from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I, I, I think so. I'll let you go in a sec, Ali. But I, I think so because I actually um I was dating a girl that like they always have to, to say something about a past lover to a certain extent. And she told me what did what did she say about a past lover? She said he wanted to do all this this weird shit in the bedroom that I was uncomfortable with. And I was like, oh really? And and further investigating, I'm like, is it because you didn't feel he was was dominant enough and strong enough to lead you? She goes, yeah. If he was strong enough and dominant enough to lead me, I would have I would have done all of it. <laughs> 